Charity of the Week. Please tell us your name and charity. Leslie Turnbull from Wish Upon a Dream. How did the charity start and what is its purpose? Its purpose is to grant wishes for second terminally old children living on the Isle of Man. Um, started because of the death of my daughter um, and not ever getting over it. And then knowing I had to do something, was on the Isle of Man, I have been here now for about 22 years and so decided to set it up. Couldn't really decide what the charity was to do um, and I thought, oh, I'll do something with paediatrics because Lauren was a baby. Um, and then I realised we didn't have our own wish charity, if you like, on the island, so it seemed a good one. It encompassed all children of all ages up to the age of 21, so... It was born. The charity works by, if you know, a sick or terminally ill child. Um, it's just literally nominate, phone me, email. Um, we then go through, it's very brief, that you just nominate officially the child. Give me something brief about them and the parent's telephone number. I then contact the parent and ask if they'd be happy to have a wish. Um, normally they say yes. And then I go visit and it all starts from there. Tell us about your team. So we've, we've always kept very small um, because we found that works best for us. So we've got a board of directors. So we have a lawyer on there, Leslie Webb. We have a local businessman, James Cubbon. And we have an entrepreneur, Mark Cooper. They all bring something different to the table. Um, without their support, I would struggle. And we're just building a small subcommittee because we find we need a little bit of extra help on the fundraising side. We don't ask for a lot of time from anybody. It might be, can you collect a couple of raffle prizes or can you do this for the ball? Or, um, But it works and we keep small and it's nice because we like a little family. Who is the charity for? The charity is for any child up to the age of 21 living on the Isle of Man with a diagnosed condition. Sickness could be cancer, could be a genetic disease. Um, it's quite varied. Which other organisations do you work with? We don't work with any other organisations as such. We rely entirely really with the island, its people, its corporate bodies to back us, support us, choose us as their charity of the year. Um, this year we're the charity of Woodbourne House because I have a close association with them, Robinsons and Trident Trust. And in addition this year it's the Sporting Bears who are coming to the Isle of Man, they're a UK base, um, bringing some rather special cars. People can choose to go for a drive in the car but you pay for this ride and every penny they raise they donate to Wish Upon a Dream. What are your main goals? My aim really is for us to get out to every child we can. And that's, you know, children being diagnosed with cancer, children that are born with diseases, conditions. It's so varied and so vast, but I'm shocked such a small island has so many sick children on it. And it's so distressing that I haven't even scratched the surface. Um, some people just don't think to nominate a child I myself have seen children um, in wheelchairs several times and I've approached their parent and said, is there nothing I can do? I just want to help them. I don't know, if I had a real magic wand, none of them would be sick, but sadly I don't. Hence why often you see me in town crying. You have to ignore me. Just let me walk on by. <laughs> How is the charity funded? So the charity is funded entirely from donations. Nobody on our charity receives a salary, no one gets expenses. The day-to-day -day running costs are actually met personally. We do an annual ball, various small things through the year, but it's mainly dependent on the people of the Isle of Man. Um, we find that they're very, they respond very well because the intentions behind it, and the more people you reach out to, the more they want to give something back um, currently, you know, we've got three children with very complex conditions that have been in Great Ormond Street and their families 
are now getting behind the charity because they want to give something back to make it possible for another child. And so it has that kind of knock-on effect. We're here for everybody. Um, and, and the process is very simple, very simple indeed. How can people support you? Things like the parish walk, cycle rides, that sort of tends to be, um, if there is an event on a marathon, then it's really cool that people do think of us because I still think of us um, as this tiny little charity that I set up in my sitting room um, with a renowned lawyer on the island and never believing it would turn into what it's turned into. So I still think of us as a very tiny charity and anybody doing an event, you know, if they want some support, they want some marketing, they want to put on a quiz night, just, just telephone me. We will do anything to assist, pull up banners, go and hand out leaflets. I'm just always so humbled that people even think of Wish Upon a Dream, to be honest. So we have one great support. There's a little group on the island called the Manx Troopers who are Star Wars crazy and they have the most amazing outfits. They are always around doing things. They'll go to people's birthdays. They'll, they collect money all the time and they, all of the money they raise is always given to Wish Upon a Dream. And every now and again, a credit will appear or a bucket of coins will appear and that's, that's them. And... So, you know, they're doing something they love, but they do it for Wish Upon a Dream. And I am so humbled by that. And, that, you know, they're a great group of people. So, yes, more of it, more of it and have fun with it. Where can people find out more? So we have a Facebook page that I really need to spend more time on. But there is a Facebook page um, currently developing an Instagram page. We have a website by the lovely Adam Horn who does an awful lot for us free of charge. Um, so it's wishuponadream.co.uk um, and telephone 229 229. Always around, never turn the phone off, 24-7. The Charity of the Week. Profile complete.